Okay. XCOM crashed. Yes, not the recording. XCOM did. That was, uh... That's a first. And you can see it's still chugging a little bit. Um, I'm gonna redo this turn. I was just a little bit into it, and then... That, uh... That happened. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is what I was doing. I'm gonna lightning hands with... Uh, Mills, and we'll see if the RNG stays the same, so this will be fun. Okay, or I just got lucky again, and that kills... That kills, uh... That kills that guy. Now, he still has two, uh, pistol shots left that he can do, which is really cool. This sectoid... I wanted to see how this would go. Oh, you only have an 84% chance to hit. I didn't see that the first time. Uh, we're gonna slash this sectoid to get rid of him. Which crits for 13. It does stay the same because that was a low critical uh, percent chance. Okay. That stayed the same, which is really cool. Which removes the panic on uh, Dark Fox, which is really important. Next, we're going to fire the pistol at the sectoid, which does 4 to 5 damage if it hits. Which it does, and does 5 damage. Now the thing is, that is still technically Mill's first action, because Lightning Hands is free. Which lets him fire again with this pistol. Like so, and kills the sectoid. That is 3 pistol shots Did in 1 turn. That one? Okay, that's as far as I got in the turn before uh, XCOM crashed. So, but it was, it was so cool. I'm glad it keeps the RNG, and... Or again, it just all played out the same way and it still re-rolled the numbers. But that critical is a pretty low chance. So I think it keeps the RNG for the turn, which I'm happy with. Um, as long as you do the turn the same way. Which is good, because that all three pistol shots hitting got Mills two kills in one turn. That's awesome. Okay, next... What do I want to do now? The Viper's dead. I don't have to worry about it. We have this guy over here. We have the Muton. Move there, I guess. Position confirmed. And we'll shoot at the soldier? 40. It's a 50-50 chance to kill. Whoa, that blows up though. <laughs> Adjusting sights. Maybe I should have overwatched. I maybe should have overwatched. Um. Man, I don't want to deal with the muton. I really don't. It's just not something I'm. I'm keen on. They're all over here. I'm gonna start moving people around. What's over there? Gotta get everybody back on the same... The same side here. Twelve. Sure, thirty-four. Missed. Get it together! There's still this guy over there. You know what? Let's deal with him so he doesn't do anything that we don't like. Move What's here. Over there? Eyes on the target. I'm gonna grenade the trooper and not even worry about it. That'll just leave us with the two sectoids and the target. muton left. Move to protect that gear at all costs. So we're gonna do that. Seven. Launched there. Eat grenade! Alright, and that's sadly going to... going to end this turn. You die from the burning. Alright, what are you doing now? 
you moved up. They can't be flanked. You have a grenade? <laughs> That's garbage. Oh God. You reanimated. Well, everybody got hit there. That was lame. Really lame. Please reanimate too. Are you shooting at somebody? No, you're doing some type of mind thing. What's going on? Disoriented. I don't know what that does. I don't think we've seen that one. That one's new. Too close to the heat. That blows up. Still disoriented. Oh, you can't move far, but that's that's fine. You weren't moving anyway. Oh, I can't throw your grenade. Wish I could see like down here, see the stuff. Oh, disoriented. There it is. Suffering movement and aim penalties. Many abilities are restricted. Lame. All right, fine. I don't think we should slash the muton. I don't. I think the muton can melee for a lot. Um, that was terrible because everybody. I need an area of effect heal right now. That was terrible. Everybody got hit by that. Go cut down the one in the back. Start there. Okay, that's one. One down, thousands to go. I wish you were in range to hit cut the other sectoid. Move here. Absolutely. Oh, you can't see from there? Man, going to Overwatch. 36. Fire at the Muton, because if nothing else, you give hollow targeting to everybody else. You now are hollow targeted. Come on, focus! You're gonna fire twice again, Mills, with your pistol at 86. Yeah, one armor. What ah, you're burning. Armor? Oh wait, that was a lightning. Uh, lightning hands. It was back. Awesome. That's really good, actually. Fire again. You have two health left. I'm not sure the burning will kill you. Oh, no. It wasn't lightning hands. Um... I want the muton dead. I don't like that. Move here. Confirm. And what if he has another grenade? Oh, that was lame. I should have known better. It's, you had grenades and XCOM enemy within to die. All that's left is the sectoid. Down. <laughs> the entire squad could gain concealment, but if I screw up, then uh, and everybody's dead. Or somebody's dead. Well, okay, here's what we need to do. This is actually what needs to happen. Move up here. I'm trusting you here. And you need... Revival protocol. No, I need... Gremlin heal. Over there. <laughs> Five HP healed. Now, unfortunately, 
then this happens. Whatever the sectoid does. Did you zombie? You did. Okay, good. We're fine. Everybody's gonna be wounded after this. Disorientation removed. That's good news. Wait, two left. Oh, this left. Oh, the side zombie. Duh. Slash. Dead. Is that everything? There you go. Oh, that grenade was so much garbage. Uh, everybody on this mission is wounded. <laughs> everybody. Status confirmed. <laughs> All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Good job, team, but none of you died. Who didn't get wounded? Oh, I don't think our Sai... Status confirmed. Did the, uh, our Sai user didn't get wounded, I think? Steven didn't get wounded? That'd be great, because then he could continue the tra his training. Five wounded. Nobody died, though, which is good news. Everybody ate a grenade, just about. Seven turns. Okay. All right, that was bad. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> Mills did the most damage and made the most attacks. Definitely made the most attacks. Oh, I like the gunslinger tree. That's cool. I could have a lot of fun with the gunslinger tree. Most under fire, dark box, and move the farthest shadow. Good job, team. Nobody died, although it was close. <laughs> Oh, man. That... Ah... Uh, the, uh... The grenade. Alright, I don't like mutons anymore. Guess who just went pretty high up on the uh, pecking order to die there? <laughs> I wonder what else we got, because we completed the mission, so we should get the drop. Did we pick up the drop? I don't remember. I'm still shaken by that grenade. That was just terrible. Just, just terrible. As we wait to return to base there. So we learned a couple of things. One, mutons have grenades. Um, two, RNG stays the same if you uh, reload and take your actions the same, which is good for me in case XCOM and or the recording screws up. And it lived up to its name. It was difficult. <laughs> it lived up to the difficulty. Ugh. So mad at the grenade. I'm just glad nobody died from that. Everybody's wounded. No, gravely wounded. Well, we're not gonna have a Psy initiate forever. Gravely wounded, gravely wounded, active, gravely wounded, wounded. I need another Psy initiate. <laughs> I should I should get a rookie and get on that. Because that's not great. Not great at all. I'm glad uh people signed up and I've actually got some some more people. <laughs> so we could get them in. And some more people there actually actually have a few ranks and you know we're there. All right, nobody got promoted either. That's super terrible. Like all those kills and nobody got promoted. We just it feels like just a waste. Uh, we got a stock. Miss shots still do one damage to the target. That's interesting. So I can always do one. I actually like that. We got a muton corpse hidden beneath their battle armor. Blah blah. I think I already, we already got one of those. A Viper Corpse, Sectoid Corpses, four Sectoid Corpses, two Trooper Corpses, and a Mech Wreck. Hello, Commander. All right. Uh, we got a Scientist and stopped the uh, major breakthrough. Reduced Will, which is like the worst thing I could have for the Initiate. Increase research speed by 17%. Sure. You weren't even that good of a scientist. What are you doing? 
<sighs> I'm just so... So sad now. Just everything. How long is everybody out? 16 days, 19 days, 16 days, 15 lately. days. It sounds a little like German, but it's hard to tell. Huh. Uh, 14 days, 7 days. There we go. Shaken, which means you get a Psy Shield. Which you probably should have one anyway, honestly. Alright, because it's going to take so long, I might as well spend a few supplies and start training somebody else. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta get there. Uh, it doesn't really matter who I who I grab because I'm gonna change a whole bunch of stuff. Um, you. Scilab. Come on. There you go. Yes. There's that, and that will be. Matt Eldon. So, welcome aboard. As you become a uh, Psy operative in five days. Yeah, paused. Domination training. No joke. Paused forever. Feels like. And then the data encryption will be done in two days. You know what? I'm going to see just how else the aliens screw me over in this. Alien alloys. I need those. I'm gonna go grab the supplies. Avenger plotting new course. Supplies. Strategic resource located. Okay, 68 supplies. Claire alien debris is in one day. The data encryption is in one day as well. I guess fly to the haven. I can Avenger start that. Plotting new course. Alien debris cleared. Carry on. Seventy intel. Okay. I think I could have predicted this outcome, though it is intriguing. Good. Seventy intel. Uh, Enigma. There's no green question mark, so I'm confused. The alien data cache appears to be a physical storage device intended for direct interface with the data pads we've seen the Advent forces carrying in the field. Having successfully decrypted the files, including a variety of tactical data and varying intelligence, I've yet to discover what it is about this data in particular that requires the aliens to maintain physical stores of critical information. Considering the sophistication of their technology in general, one would think the inherent security risk involved would be enough to dissuade them. In any case, it can only benefit us to seize these assets whenever possible. Richard Teigen. Next. Um... Goss weapons, even though I really don't have the money to do that either. You know what? I don't have the money to do that. I foresee a number of valuable applications stemming from this technology. I'll do... have a report assembled as soon as the research is complete. They're plasma-based explosives for our purposes. That's tempting. Do the resistance radio. Yes. Do that. Because I don't have money to do anything anyway. We've dedicated considerable resources toward the current research project. No, we haven't, Tiger. Oh, shut up. We can move on to something else if you'd prefer. I can see why you would consider redirecting our efforts, Commander. We'll get to work on the new project right away. 20 Come alien on. alloys. We have the supplies now. I want Predator armor for everybody, especially after that. So here's what's next. Dad sacrificed the only thing he had left to get this ship off the ground. And I won't let it be for nothing. Oh yeah, we have an she unstaffed might be a little worse engineer for wear right now. But with some new schematics and a little elbow grease, she'll be the toughest thing in the sky. 
The end of excavating this. It'll take 20 days. Huh, okay, that was terrible. That was the worst little hiccup there that I've seen, other than the crash. Black market. Yes, I'm sure I want to leave. I am 100% positive. Market is open. Hi. I would like your uh, alien alloys. Thank you. Thirty intel for ninety-four supplies. Yes. Uh, what are you very interested in? The sectoid corpses? I know I need some of those. Two. Take two of the advent stun lamp. Three of the advent stun lancer corpses. Okay, they just put what they're interested in at the top. That's good. Actually, take three of the sectoid corpses, because that'll still leave me with seven. I think I need... Uh, no, I need six of the advent trooper corpses. Significant offensive penalties. That wouldn't help when you throw a grenade. Um... I don't remember what all I need sectoid corpses for. Mind shield, I remember that. I'll sell two. Uh, laser sights, increased by 5%. Flashbang grenade. I never used the flashbang grenade, but eventually somebody might take it. All right, 38, confirm. That's that. Unstaffed engineer. Who's unstaffed? We have three engineers. One's here doing the skull jack, one's here, and one's here at the side lab. Like, I don't... I understand why it said that. I know resistance comps are at capacity. I know that. Um, okay, we're going to end this on a positive note. Hello, Commander. Build items. Predator armor. Six Advent Trooper corpses, 150 supplies, and 20 alien alloys. Using scavenge plates of, of Advent armor, this suit provides increased protection and additional inventory capacity for our soldiers. Build that. The aptly named Predator armor should give our soldiers increased longevity in the field. Good. I would build the advanced Psy amp, but that's going to be a while. I could build the magnetic rifle and probably should, but I am going to... The shielded power coil is going to get a power relay and give a ton more power. It's going to give 10 power, it looks like. Ten powers a lot, so we're gonna build the power relay. Power relay construction initiated. And I don't have the supplies for anything else, or I don't have the power for some of this stuff. Uh, the defense matrix interests me. In case of a ground assault on the Avenger, because we've seen how that goes. Although we held them off pretty well, I think that'd be cool to have one of. Um, resistance comms, that way I could get more, more people involved, more, uh, like, places involved. But we'll have to see how resistance radio helps with that. And I'd like the Advanced Warfare Center, too, because I'm curious about it. 
And also this. Decrease the time our soldiers need to recover from injuries. Because that needs to happen too. Okay. Well, we'll go with that. One hundred supplies. Um, I need to get magnetic rifles. One twenty-five. That's pro that's around all I'm going to get next time. I'll get one eleven actually from the next supply drop. It's not like I'm going to get a lot of time to do stuff anyway, because I'm sure I'm going to have to go into another mission here soon. But all of that, we'll wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you had a lot of fun. Um, as half of XCOM is out, <laughs> wounded, we'll have to see how the people that aren't wounded I do. I have to hand it to them. What these recruits lack in experience, they make up for in grit. We don't have any recruits, really, except for the uh, the one in Psy training. <laughs> Everybody else at least has one level. Is at least a squatty, which is good. Okay, put that off to the side. Um, again, hope you had a lot of fun. Until the next episode, I'm Cinder 9 Remember to shoot for the stars, and take care, everyone.